reflected light from the pulsing engines of the Zero-G Command's dropship flickered across the rocky landscape as it approached Artemis 9, the sprawling asteroid mine now seized in the suffocating grip of space piracy. Lieutenant Kara Stell, slipping a fresh power cell into her railgun, peered out of the viewport at the silent monolith of rock and metal floating against the backdrop of the infinite night. Steady up, Z-Niners! Captain Arrow's voice cut like a saber through the apprehensive hum of the ship's internal systems. Those pirates won't wait around forever! We go hard and fast. Hostages depend on us. The crew of Zero-G Command, selected for their ability to handle the most unforgiving combat environments space could throw at them, bristled in response, a murmur of steel-clad determination spreading through the cabin. In the dim artificial light, each Marine checked their gear, the clinking and clanking of high-strength alloy exoskeletons punctuating the air. Sweat beaded Kara's forehead as she visualized the impending skirmish, a mental rehearsal honed by dozens of engagements through her storied career. The rumor of the pirates possessing tech beyond the usual rabble poked at the edge of her thoughts like an itch, but training and instinct told her that focus was paramount. Readiness was survival. Airlock sealed, announced the pilot, a barely discernible vibration signaling the docking with Artemis 9. The craft matched the asteroid's rotation, negligible gravity pulling them onto the makeshift landing pad, little more than a flattened outcropping of extraterrestrial rock. Weapons powered up with a series of low hums and whirring noises. The air inside the dropship tensed with the electric scent of ozone and anticipation. The hydraulic hiss of doors depressurizing filled the confined space, the final barrier between the Marines and their quarry. The team formed up, Captain Arrow at the point, his silhouette framed against the awaiting maw of the airlock. Now was all he barked before launching himself into the zero-gravity darkness beyond. Through the airlock and into the heart of Artemis 9, they surged, propelled by bursts from their suit's thrusters, a lethal dance of velocities and vectors. Zero-G commanders were a torrent unfurling in the vacuum, a precision wrath dressed in the guise of Marines trained for this singular moment. Kara navigated the derelict corridors with memorized efficiency. The low glow from her HUD painted a hollow map over her retina, tracking friendlies and unknown hostiles, the latter marked in red blood red. They moved towards the central dome, the likely position for the pirates to corral the hostages. Somewhere within those walls lay the crux of the high-tech heist, but for Kara and the rest, lives were on the line, non-negotiable stakes that transcended even the most precious of rare minerals. Abruptly, discordant blips spiked her sensors. Kara's pulse quickened. Contact. Shadowy figures emerged, manifesting from dark corners and hidden alcoves with weapons poised. The first bolts of enemy fire screamed through the void, searing past Kara, close enough to elicit an involuntary flinch. Her railgun responded almost of its own will, pulsing kinetic fury that sent a space pirate hurtling into the abyss of metal and shadow. This was not the measured pace of the chess player considering each move. This was the rhythm of survival, where instinct and reflex held dominion. Unexpectedly, the pirates retaliated with an oddity, weapons that carved streams of ionic blue through the flickering emergency lights. They moved in odd, ethereal patterns as if unsure of their own corporeality. Cloaking tech, Kara transmitted on the team channel before the reality could fully register in her mind. They were outmatched in ways they hadn't anticipated, an adversary far more ghost than flesh. With the element of surprise eroded beneath the discovery, Zero-G Command faced the dark maw of Artemis 9 head-on, each Marine caught in a dance with shadows, pulled by the stark urgency of unknown challenge and threats lurking in the endless dark. Kara swiped a bead of sweat off her brow as her team cleared the dimly lit corridor of the fallen foes. The telltale whisper of Captain Arrow's voice hummed in her helmet. Regroup. Consolidate your positions. We need new tactics. Zero-G maneuvers. Let's use the cloakers' tricks against them. The Marines fell back to a defensive formation within an open bay. The walls hummed with the dormant machinery used to excavate the asteroid's bounty. Each Marine's eyes flicked about, grappling with the eerie knowledge that what they observed could be an illusion veiled by the pirate's insidious technology. Kara fixated on the shadow play around her, eyes sharpening to pierce the gloom. Something in the air told her they were not alone. Eyes up, Stell, 
she heard Arrow's voice crisp and calm. Watch the reflections! Like the branching veins of a leaf, the subtlest distortion rippled across the polished surface of a mining drill. Kara didn't hesitate, her weapon discharged with a thunderous clack, thrumming metal with reverberating force. A flailing form tumbled out of nothingness. A space pirate momentarily materialized by the impact, cloak flickering and failing. The rest of the team took cue. Breath held tight in her lungs, Kara whipped around, finger tense on the trigger. Ricocheting rounds filled the air, procedures forgotten in exchange for survival. Light played tricks, reflections danced, and unseen enemies clawed at the edges of perception. Use the conduits for cover, Arrow ordered as he snapped precise shots into the shifts of light. They pressed forward, zero-G suits enabling them to slink and slide along walls and ceilings, weapons trained on the shimmers in the stagnant air. Bolts flew, some finding their spectral targets while others punched into the lifeless rock each success marked by a cascade of sparks and a flash of retreating cloak. Breaches were counter-baffled with suppressive fire, a chaotic melee where space turned inside out, where up was down and down was a void. In the midst of this disarray, Arrow's strategy took shape, a chaotic ballet harmonizing their movement with their enemies' erratic incursions. Zero-G Command's ingenuity became their saving grace, turning the pirates' advantage into their own. We need to press towards the control room, Kara's own voice was vehement, aware that time was the ally of neither captive nor captor. Hostages could be there. The team adjusted, a unified front weaving through the derelict shafts and service tunnels, blades of concentrated light cutting through the silent expanse of Artemis IX. Each obstacle surmounted brought the team closer to the true heart of the asteroid. The chamber were not just the fates of the hostages hung in balance, but the outcome of Zero-G Command's critical intervention. Their advance slowed, muscles tensing and senses on alert, as Zero-G Command neared the core of Artemis IX. The door to the control room loomed before them, a monolithic slab of enforced steel that guarded the secrets within. Brace up, Arrow's voice barely rose above a whisper. I don't like this silence. Kara nodded, matching her breathing to the pulsing of her heart, trying to still the rising tension. The rest of the unit formed a semicircle around the door, each marine grasping the gravity of what lay beyond. Through the collaborative effort of brute strength and high-tech gadgetry, the door yielded with a cacophony of protesting metal that shattered the silence like a hammer through glass. Captain Arrow surged forward as the team followed, fanning out into the sprawling nerve center of the asteroid mine. The space was bathed in the ghostly blue of emergency lighting. Amidst the rows of dormant computers and abandoned workstations, a surprising sight lay before them. Not hostages, but a spherical object, ominous and inscrutable, encased in a lattice of pulsing energy. Its presence felt like a whispered threat, a secret spoken only in the language of power. Command, this is Arrow. We found something. He paused, eyes never leaving the enigmatic sphere. It doesn't match any cargo manifest. Unknown tech, looks military, maybe even experimental. Arrow's revelation hung heavy in the air. The pirates hadn't stumbled upon Artemis IX by chance. They sought this power, one that could unbalance the scales far beyond a single asteroid heist. Kara couldn't help but gaze at the object, its potential for destruction or salvation hidden beneath an unfathomable veneer. The mission had morphed, staggering under the weight of implications too vast to immediately comprehend. Then... Like a malevolent chorus, the klaxon of an alarm split the thrumming silence, and screens burst to life, bathing the room in a jaundiced light. Intruder alert scrolled across them in crimson letters. Ambush. Space pirates, roused by the disruption, emerged through concealed doorways and from the shadowed recesses of the control room. Zero-G command surrounded and outnumbered dug in, the knowledge of what was at stake lending them ferocious resolve. Combat erupted yet again, a visceral dance of instincts and reactions playing out under the stark revelation. Kara found herself back to back with Arrow, covering him as he attempted to interface with the station's systems, their last hope to gain a tactical edge. Almost there, Arrow grunted, fingers flying across holographic keypads, desperately seeking access to turn the tide. The pirates pressed their advantage, but the Marines refused to yield. Zero-G Command's purpose had evolved, no longer just rescuers. They stood as guardians over a power that called from within the heart of Artemis IX, a power whose true purpose they could not yet divine,
but whose containment was imperative lest the galaxy itself face peril. The control room had become a storm of chaos, each burst from the Marines' weapons casting stark shadows as they clashed with the space pirates in a brutal ballet of survival. The tension ratcheted higher with each passing second, the sphere's pulsating aura casting an otherworldly glow over the combatants. Then amidst the cacophony of battle, a sudden cry cut through the air, a Marine's warning shout, too late to prevent what unfolded next. From the corner of her eye, Kara saw a grappling line snake out, silent but deadly, wrapping around Captain Arrow's waist and yanking him from the fray. Captain down, she yelled over the comm. He was gone, pulled into an open service hatch by unseen assailants, his muffled orders dying away with the echo of his capture. Instantly, the dynamic shifted, the loss of their leader like a dagger to the heart of Zero-G command. Arrow had been more than a captain. He was their compass their unwavering constant amidst the chaos of war. Maintain positions, Kara barked, rallying her comrades with a voice she hoped carried a fraction of Arrow's resolve. But she couldn't shake the edge of desperation that tinged her command. The Marines tightened their circle, firing with precision that spoke of defiance against the sudden swell of dread. Their suits whined and hissed as they maneuvered through the flickering light and steel. Each member felt the pinch of being outnumbered, the gnawing fear as they fought to keep the unknown power source from falling into pirate hands. Kara's mind raced, thoughts fragmented by the need to act. Every fiber of her being rebelled against retreat. They would finish this. For Arrow, for the hostages, for the fate that the sphere represented. On me, she signaled, darting a glance at the faces of her squad, each one marked by the steely resolve that came from the tightrope walk between victory and oblivion. They made their choice without words, acknowledging the unspoken pact that bound them to each other, to their mission. With the rhythm of their gunfire providing a lethal tempo, they began their push to where Arrow had disappeared. Retreating was not an option. They surged onward, cutting down their attackers with grim determination, pressing toward the unknown as uncertainty shadowed their every move. Kara led her team through the labyrinth of corridors beyond the control room, tracking the signs of Arrow's abduction with the dogged prowess that had become their trademark. The bowels of Artemis IX became a battleground cast in shadow and sporadic light as Kara and her team clawed forward, each corridor choked with danger. The absence of gravity turned every surface into a potential floor, walls, and ceilings blending into a disorienting tapestry. Pirates lay in ambush, every frame, doorway, and bulkhead hatch a potential death trap. Kara's HUD painted a trail of digital breadcrumbs back to Arrow, culled from sensor sweeps and residual heat signatures. They moved with silent fury, narrative of their movement known only to themselves, a silent understanding between warriors who had forged their bond in the crucible of combat. As they penetrated deeper into the asteroid's labyrinth, the team discovered an expansive cavern, a grand hollow carved from relentless excavation and silent stone. Here, in Zero-G's eerie ballet, the Marines' agility shone, their tactics adapted to suit the unpredictable terrain. Pirouetting around jutting rocks and spinning past metallic outcroppings, Kara led her team with acrobatic grace that belied the lethality of their purpose. The space pirates had expected to exploit the chaos of zero gravity, hadn't anticipated the sheer audaciousness of their adversaries. But Zero-G Command turned the void into their arena, a place where their honed skills found full expression. Kara glimpsed Arrow then, encased in a quickly assembled brig, a grim trophy of the pirate's cunning. His eyes met hers, an unspoken call to action that fed her resolve. The clash that followed was a tempest of gunfire and maneuver, a storm of motion and intent where every shot and every block were guided by the utmost concentration and skill. Pistons and servos in their suits whined with the strain as they ducked and weaved through the fray. Then, amidst the dizzying onslaught, something shifted. It began as a stray shot from one of the Marines that hit a critical panel in the cavern. The response was immediate. The gravity of the entire chamber fluctuated wildly, slamming friend and foe alike against walls and floor with the brute force of abrupt mass and weight. 
Kara, her body straining against the sudden increase in G-force, used the momentary confusion to her advantage. Summoning all her strength, she launched herself at the pirate closest to Arrow's prison. A swift kick, augmented by the servos in her suit, sent the guard careening into the void. Go! she cried, and her team followed her lead, their strikes methodical and true, each blow a shout of defiance against both gravity and their enemies. United in purpose, emboldened by the singular goal of rescue and victory, the Marines converged on Arrow's cage. The locks gave way under concentrated fire, and their captain was freed, his voice rising once more to command and rally his troops. Gathering their resolve for one final push, they surged toward the pirate leader. He was a colossus even among his own, wielding power with the casual brutality of one not used to challenge. The confrontation when it came was a symphony of violence played out in a brutal zero-gravity waltz. Kara and Arrow, side by side once more, spun and shot their way toward the pirate chief, their comrades laying down a thunderous barrage to cover their advance. It was Arrow who delivered the decisive blow, a well-placed bolt that found the pirate leader's chest, sending him sprawling, his weapon skittering away into the abyss. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the battle ceased. The Zero-G Command stood victorious amongst a haunting tableau of floating debris and still bodies, the silence once more a blanket over the scene. Captain Arrow nodded to his team, a silent commendation for bravery and skill that words could never truly capture. They had done it, saved their leader, and with him, prevented a catastrophe. As the gravity normalized and the dust of conflict began to settle, they knew the final act of their mission awaited. To secure the mysterious power source, a task still shrouded in uncertainty and potential dangers untold. The aftermath of the clash settled around them like the last notes of a requiem. Kara and the team secured the chamber, ensuring no threat remained as Captain Arrow, with a somber nod, directed the handling of the enigmatic power source. Expertly, the team dismantled the energy lattice revealing the pulsing heart of the sphere. It was encased and shielded with as much care as a newborn star, its purpose and potential still locked within its seamless casing. I've got the hostages, came a voice through the comms. And on cue, a ragged group of miners blinking against the harsh lights stumbled forth from a side chamber under the watch of two marines. They were shaken but whole, faces a mix of relief and disbelief at the sight of their armed saviors. With the hostages freed and the power source in their custody, Zero-G Command began their exodus from the wounded heart of Artemis IX. Their movements were subdued, tempered by the echoes of the fight, each step weighted with the knowledge of a disaster averted, a promise kept. Arrow, once more at the helm, led his team to the docking bay where their dropship awaited. The departure was methodical, precise, the Zero-G Command's hallmark, even as adrenal fatigue began to seep into weary muscles and minds, as the bulkhead doors of the escape craft sealed with the finality of a tomb closing, Kara allowed herself a shallow sigh, the closest semblance to relaxation she would permit. Arrow met the eyes of each of his team, the pride in his gaze as palpable as the hand that had guided them through the storm. None braver, he commended, his words as much benediction as praise. It was recognition born not from rank but respect, an honor too deep for ceremony. Zero-G Command left the silent sentinel of Artemis IX in their wake, engines flaring a path across the cosmos back towards Earth. Their dropship became a speck against the canvas of space, a reading bound for home, and the brief respite found there. Yet, as the stars wheeled past the viewport, Kara knew that the lull was only a pause between the beats of their never-ending rhythm constant as the pulse of the cosmos. They were warriors of the void, defenders against the dark, always ready, always vigilant for the next call to dance among the stars. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos coming your way.